meant to take that. Oh, dear me, that's a big mouth slip if I ever saw one. Oh, dear. That's terrible. <laughs> oh my god. What the heck? What happened there? Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oops. Okay. Quick analysis on this one. So captured, captured. Push the pawn up. Obviously preparing as we said before always uh, so that the knight can come here so that this um, pawn can't come down. Well it can but it can get taken so it's not harassing our knight. Developing the bishop now obviously stopping. Well, it's not stopping because it could still continue but the potential threat of here and here with the bishop. they captured so now we can develop the knight out fairly safe that the pawn is not going to come and harass it but we can go and get castled so all the basics covered so now we can come out and attack the bishop the bishops moved out of the way um, and the gauge bar is singing their praises for that no it's not it takes its time doesn't it that's no, not point six so we'll come out to attack the knight not bothered about doubling the pawns because it's going to give us some access maybe with the rooks on the half open file so we'll grab grab and bring the rook into life now looking to basically give some support to the bishop but at the same time give the rook some activity towards this file as well at the minute I'm blockading with my own bishop Okay, so we can now attack in the center. He can either take or push past, then and push past. So the knight can now come and reinforce the attack on here. Does have sights of potentially coming attacking the bishop if need be, potentially doing this. All depends on what the opponent does next. 
So we go for the X-ray through, seeing as the bishop's just gone back, he's not going any further with any potential attacks, so he's gone back. So when they retreat, when they retreat, then we can counter-attack. So we've got a nice X-ray through at the minute onto their rook. Queen comes to defend, and now we've got a lovely sort of pin type situation because the knight can't really move because the bishop's got the x-ray through to the queen and this way they came through with this fantastic move here and this was definitely a mouse slip because i was just meant to simply take the bishop off the board but for some strange reason it moved to the side and i don't know why at all that was very strange so the queen takes uh, what was it the pawn takes the pawn Gauge bar looks like it's on our side, minus 1.7. So we come back and put pressure onto the queen, smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Um, gauge bar doesn't like that, we've lost loads of points there, it's now plus 1.76 type thing. And the queen's coming across facing our king, that might have been an error because we can take the queen off the board. So that's fairly okay, now there's no threats whatsoever towards our King Gary, so it's getting simplified really. But we haven't won the game yet, we still have to find position, the opponent's still playing. So we position to attack a higher piece with a lesser piece, usually can't be wrong. And just bring it back now, attacking um, same level type piece. And that moves out of the way, so each movement that they're making where they're going backwards, that gives us opportunity to counter attack so we then attack the rook rook moves back so now we're looking for we're trying to get into this position here but obviously the knight is there at the moment so the rook comes across so now the knight can come up and attack their knight with the support from the bishop and so if it's a trade down situation because we're a minor piece up it should be fairly okay but we've got to be in the right position so this pawn move here didn't really see any weight in that particular move so now we're looking to just simply trade down and then the king moved across can see why but it's not got any support so we're basically going to get a back rank checkmate so if you could, that's the only piece that can block it and then that will be checkmate so another interesting game of utilizing the answer process um, in a slightly different way in this particular game and um, it wasn't uh, pressure towards the king area it's pressure more towards a key piece which was the queen which made the opponent do something crazy which was this bishop taking here i was looking to see what line he was looking to take i mean if we did go here, I mean, were they thinking their queen was getting across here somehow, you know, to put another check on? Um, and there wasn't anything. So if we had carried on this way, we were still minus two um, in that sense. And this poor knight is definitely going from the pawn. But I suppose if we did that, he'll probably do what he did in that game, which is take. And we could take the knight off the board. We don't need to run. But... The issue we do have is that these queens coming across so we may as well go back to the position that we wanted to go to because his queen's looking to come and put a check here we've already got our queen here but he does have his bishop there so if he did come across then the bishop would take so probably looking for the bishop but then he'd lose his bishop and his queen so it makes it a little bit tougher for them in that sense so i'm fairly comfortable with that uh, utilizing the answer process to attack key spaces and key pieces uh, to gain um, some type of advantage in the game.